Okay, we'll open the um, Planning Commission Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. Um, we'll go ahead and start. We're gonna go into a work session. Uh, during the work session, this is a time that is a, the discussion is only for commission members and anybody that we so ask to join the discussion. It is not a public forum. Um, during our regular planning commission meeting, you will have a chance for communications from the public if we do not ask you to speak during the work session. So with that, we're gonna start with FPD 20-014 rezone office O to SPA-3 special planning area three and 1876 Waycross Road. Chris, would you go over that with us? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, <clears throat> while I give you the briefing on this, I'm going to be referring um, to the uh, the survey that's in the in the packet. It's on the third page, and then the um, the draft ordinance that follows. So, if you want to just be ready to turn to those pages, um, it'll be easier to understand if you can um, follow on by looking at the at the survey. Um, <clears throat> Chris, is that after everything else we've got? That's not the third page. It's the staff report. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, the staff report is. It's page eight. Sorry about that. Yeah, so page eight, nine, 10, pages 10 and 11. 10 and 11 is what you want us to look at? Yeah, of the staff report. Of the, yeah, of the packet. Okay, okay. Um, so the, um, the reason for this uh, rezoning application is um, that Emeritus is planning to um, do some rearranging of property lines, essentially. Um, and that is to um, convey the 1876 building, the one-story office building that was built in 2015 to um, a new owner. Um, and this is in conjunction with the new company coming in um, at the first of the year. Uh, <clears throat> so what that entails is um, basically splitting the parcel that Emeritus has their buildings on what we call the legacy parcel. It's about 66 acres in size. It's all the land from the corner um, out to the buildings, including the parking um, that's, that's around those buildings. Um, <clears throat> and so there are currently the two buildings and the parking under one ownership. Um, they'd like to take the 1876 building and some of the parking. And that's the parcel that's outlined uh, in um, heavier uh, as uh, split parcel one and split parcel three. They would then consolidate those into one parcel. Um, and that would leave some remaining land that's from the Carillon development, okay? Which is from uh, split parcel two on the drawing, uh, as well as some land from the legacy parcel, uh, which is uh, labeled as parcel split parcel three on the on the on the diagram, and the reason that this is important is, is well twofold. Um, first, the land coming from that first parcel is part of Carillon Business Park, um, and that is a platted subdivision um, that was. Uh, platted at the time by Union Central in 2000. Um, and a whole lot of things happened that year. Uh, the city approved the subdivision plan for 123 acres uh, for development outside of the core, Amer or, or core Union Central property um, and uh, approved a TIF to build the road um, as well as the zoning the SPA three uh, zoning district. All of that land had been zoned for office only uh, before that. When uh, that 
when Caroline Business Park was rezoned, and if you excuse me a minute, I have sirens again. <laughs> um, when that land was rezoned, the um, the sixty or so acres that that Emeritus retained for their headquarters, I'm going to I'm going to use Emeritus and Union Central interchangeably here. I think. Um, that the company uh, kept uh, for its headquarters building and the and the building that they um, leased to Jacobs Engineering was not rezoned, and that was basically the the situation that existed for the next thirteen years, while uh, the parcels from uh, the emeritus land were were split at various times to create the development sites where Hillman and Thalen and EQ and Continental Carbonics and, and the rest of them um, now sit. Uh, then um, came the decision to uh, tear down the original 1876 building um, and build the new 70,000 square foot office building, which is now the new 1876 building. Um, and when that occurred, because they built the new building first before tearing down the old, that site sat sort of straddled the line between the legacy land and the, the business park land. So you had the, the platted subdivision on one side and the land that was described by meets and bounds um, on the other and two zoning districts. So we had the zoning running through uh, the middle of the property because they took in some of the land from uh, Union Center, or I'm sorry, from uh, Caroline Business Park. Um, and when it was consolidated with the legacy parcel, that's when you started to have a zoning line running through the middle of a parcel. Um, and that is not considered good zoning practice. Uh, uh, a parcel of land should have one zoning designation or another, uh, but not more than one. And zoning lines should generally follow property lines, except when they're following other things like street center lines or uh, creeks or railroads or, or, or more permanent features of that type. Um, that was basically kind of an oversight at the time. We we did the, the property consolidation, the the you know the zoning approval for the building, um, and all of the rest um, without I don't think especially noticing that 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 created that issue. Um, and it was only when uh, more recently that um, we were talking through the plan to create this property consolidation that. I realized that we, we have a little bit of a zoning issue here that can be fixed. Um, and, and the way to do that is to rezone the property such that the line now follows the new property line. So what this rezoning would do would take the parcel that is again outlined in, um, in that heavier um, a line and it would designate all the Southern part of it the part that kind of dips into the emeritus property, that 6.6 .6 acres, um, it would change the zoning of that from office, which it is now, to SPA3, which would have it conform to the rest of the uh, zoning in the Carolina Business Park. Um, just two other things to mention on this. Um, the first is that um, the final action on this is actually not with the Planning Commission. Um, all rezonings have to be done by ordinance, and, and that's with the city council. So um, what we're here tonight is to do is to uh, vote on a recommendation. Um, to recommend approval, uh, denial, uh, or approval with conditions. And the second point on this is, I think that might have been my two points, actually. Um, they, for the schedule, it will be going to the city council. They will be holding a hearing on Monday, November 23rd, and then in less than two weeks. Um, and then uh, it would go through their regular ordinance process. We, we are doing this in order to try to accommodate a request by the company to have all of this in place before the end of the year 
which is when the new company will be coming in um, and they'd like to execute these other changes. So uh, that would conclude my report and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Hey, thanks, Chris. Um, we'll go down the list again. Um, Dr. Button, any questions for Chris? No questions. Okay, good to see you, Dr. Button. Good to be seen. Good to see you guys. <laughs> uh, Mr. Smith? No questions. Uh, Mayor Johnson? He's muted, but he did say no questions. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Brown? No questions. Uh, and I apologize for being late. Connie, if you can just add me to the uh, uh, present. I'll just list okay. present. Here we go. <laughs> Dr. Anaforo? No questions. Mr. Bradley? No questions. Okay. The only thing I have, Chris, just to make this real simple, we're just dipping into the purple part of the map where the green line goes into it, the, the other like pinkish color goes into it, which that was the original zoning. And we're switching that over to the uh, other zoning that would comply with the rest of split part one and split part three. Right, we're, uh, we're taking that, those six acres and moving them from one to the other. Okay, can I, can I just ask, you know, I don't have a problem with this at all. I'm just, my question is, is um, what bearing does the new company coming into the 1880 building have on relevance to this? Um, I, I'd let um, Lauren Pugliese from the uh, company answer, but it's actually the new company is coming into the 1876 building. Okay. And Emeritus is taking the 1880 building. Oh, okay. The 1876, is that the one story building that Emeritus built? Correct. So they're switching and going over to where um, the engineering firm was at. Yes. Oh, okay. Now I, I understand it now. Okay. Uh, Lauren, if you wanted to add anything. Uh, sure. This is Lauren Pugliese from Emeritus. Uh, 1880 Waycross Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45240. Um, and really, yeah, you're spot on, Chris. So, so Liberty Mutual will be coming into the 1876 building. <laughs> And as part of our lease, you know, we have to, to represent that we are, um, you know, in conformance with all zoning regulations and laws. And so really this is just a best practice to make sure that we can affirmatively make that statement. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Are there any other questions from the commission about this? Okay, hearing none, I'm gonna close the work session. Um, we're gonna move right into planning commission meeting. Um, Mrs. Westendorf, if you call the order, or I'll call the order, you call the roll. Okay. Dr. Anaforo? Yeah. Mr. Smith? Mr. Jones? Or I'm sorry. Mr. Johnson? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Mr. Bradley? Here. Dr. Bunton? Here. And Mr. Aronson. Here. You got, I guess, Dr. Anaforo, you got yeah. her? Yeah, she okay. got me. Okay, she's here. And I think uh, Dennis, Dennis is here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's here. Okay, good. So everybody's here today. Um, has everybody read the minutes? Yes. Are there any additions or changes to the minutes? Hearing none, we'll accept the minutes as written. Um, commissioner reports. Um, Dr. Bunton, any report? No report. Uh, Mr. Smith? No report. Mr. Johnson? No report. Mr. Brown? No report. Dr. Anaforo? No report. Mr. Bradley? No report. Um, I have a report. Um, I guess Mr. Bradley is coming up for reappointment to the Planning Commission. He served his, I'm not sure how many years it is that they get appointed, four years or something, I'm not sure. Um, but they asked for a letter and, and I was very happy to write a recommendation for Mr. Bradley to be reappointed to the Planning Commission. So I assume they'll probably hear that and they might have heard that last night at city council, I'm not sure. 
or tonight, or I'm not sure when they meet again. Um, It'll be this coming Monday. <clears throat> this It'll Monday. be Monday, the, yeah, Monday the 16th. Okay. Well, I, I did write a, a letter to the clerk uh, recommend, recommending Mr. Bradley for reappointment. Um, the other thing I'd like to bring up in our report is that we had a, um, a meeting, I guess it was last week, where um, some of the planning commissioners, not all of us, I think there were four of us that met, um, that was a presentation from the um, staff on our zoning and that, which I think they did a very good job and uh, Mayor Johnson added a lot to it. I think how the planning commission was thinking. Um, it was a shame that um, I can't remember exactly who wasn't there, but it was a, it was a good meeting. And uh, I don't know if they taped it or not, but maybe if they did, Chris, that the, the commissioners that weren't there, if you could send that to them. Um, um, certainly. I think it worked out real well. Um, a lot of good questions and answers back and forth and gave us a little insight on the history of what had happened within Forest Park and uh, hopefully where we're going into the future. Okay, with that, uh, Chris, um, you have a report, any report? Um, no, just I note that um, in your packet, um, right after the minutes is a, a proposed schedule for next year. We're getting that out a little early because um, it reflects what we discussed about um, separating the work session and the regular meeting on two separate or Tuesdays. So okay. we're, that that's what that would look like. If you could all just take a look at it, and if there's any um, issues or conflicts or suggestions um, before we actually adopt it next month. Okay. Um, I got that. It looked good. I didn't see any any um, conflicts or anything. It, it, it went pretty well. It stayed on the first Tuesday and the second Tuesday throughout next year. So that worked out real well. If anybody has any needs, any changes or that, just let, let me know or Chris know, and we'll try to accommodate those changes. Okay, moving right along, we'll have communications from the public. If addressing the commission, please wait for the chair to recognize you. State your name and address, and please limit comments to five minutes. This meeting will be recorded for ease of transcription and will be broadcast by Waycross Community Media. Is there anybody in the uh, public that would like to make any comments before Planning Commission? Is there anybody in the public that would like to make any comments before Planning Commission? Okay, hearing none, we're gonna move on to new business. Item A, FPD 20-014, rezone office O to SPA-3 special planning area, 31876 Waycross Road. Is there a motion? Mr. Chair. Yes, I would Mayor move, Johnson. I would move to recommend that the city council approve an ordinance changing the zoning of 6.8 six acres of land located at 1876 Waycross Road from O office to SPA-3 special planning area number three and amending the official zoning map consistent with uh, the foregoing. A second motion. Okay, it's been moved and seconded by Dr. Button. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Mrs. Westendorf, if you'll call the roll. Dr. Anaforo? Yes. I'm sorry. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bradley? Yes. Mr. Bunton? Yes. And Mr. Aronson? Yes. Okay. okay. The um, rezone recommendation passed seven to nothing. Um, is there any other new business to discuss? No new business, okay. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this evening. Um, please be safe. Everything obviously, is, you know, code purple or whatever he's gonna announce tomorrow. So uh, the governor, so everybody just please safe and take care of yourselves and. 
We'll see everybody back next month. Thank you very much for attending. Good night. Thank you so much. All right, good night. Thank you. Good night.